Yo, what's up, y'all? Today's passion point that I want to discuss today is uh, probably something that's unfortunately near and dear to all of us, and that's the ability to deal with adversity. You know, um, yeah, as a country, America has been dealing in through some real tough economic times um, here lately, and uh, probably for the last four years, um, a recession, um, this all types of different things, housing crisis, you know, bailouts, the whole nine. And everybody's gonna got a, probably more than their dosage of adversity. You know, the way you've done things before, probably you had to change it. Um, the way you thought about stuff before, you know, you had to change it. You know, you probably thought about you wouldn't listen to a, a, a transformational speaker that's probably dressed like I am right now, but hey, it's a new day. Um, you know, we, we, we got to change. One of my uh, things that I tell people, I said, you either you're on top of change or change is on top of you. Because with change, it also brings a certain level of adversity. You know, it, uh, it's a, it brings situations where you have to make, your responses has, has to be one that says either I'm willing to change or I'm not willing to change. I'm willing to see things another way or I'm not. So either one of those decisions, you know, can bring you certain levels of adversity there. Three things I wanted to kind of talk about adversity is, is one, what is it? Well, that's the easy one. Everybody know it could be whatever it is your definition for. It could be your rent right now. It could be your mortgage right now. It could be your health right now. It could be your relationships right now. It could be creating some adverse situations that are causing you to rethink things, to to change the way you see stuff, the way you feel about things. The other is how to respond to it. Now, my thing is I'm not going to sit here and tell anybody specifically what they supposed to be doing in every each and every individual case because there's a lot of different cases. I want to say to you is make sure you respond to it. Don't live in the valley of indecision. Don't just kind of sit and ignore the adversity that's in your life right now, hoping that it'll just go away. Don't have an ostrich type attitude where you're sticking your head in the ground and hoping the storm is going to pass and then you come back out of it. You know, it's a lot of ways you can deal with it. One that I would recommend you deal it on a, on a spiritual level that you, you know, talk to God about it. You know, I, I believe that all he's got all the answers and, and to the problems. I think you, you, you got to just have a belief system that's above your finite mind. I just really do believe that. You know, I've looked around and I've read a lot of stuff. You just got to have that. And lastly, how to take adversity, harness it, defeat it, and to make it help, help make it into something that's going to make you better. You know, scripture says that iron sharpens iron. You know, uh, under great pressure, coal turns into diamonds. You know, I mean, when I used to shoot free throws, I would always kind of look over at the person on the other team standing there. And they would say, because they would say something like, this is pressure free throws. You're going to miss. And I said, no, pressure makes diamonds. And I'm about the biggest diamond you're going to ever see in your life. Pressure, you know, and adversity it, 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 it gets us to the place. It heats us up. Um, a pearl is made under with a lot of friction that's going on inside the oyster's mouth and swirling and turning. All of the most valuable things in our life, if you look at the genesis or the beginning of it, they all started out under great pressure, under great friction. So adversity is something that, you know, we don't have to be afraid of once we understand what it's really all about. I think it comes to make us better. It comes to push us. It come, comes to help us to understand that we are unique beings made by God that don't have to stay the same. We can change. We can move. We're not like trees. If a tree wants to go to the other side of the street, pretty much it's a wrap. He's not going to be able to do it. He could just dream about it, but he can't move. But we can move, not only physically, but we can move emotionally, we can move mentally, we can move spiritually. It's all in our power. So whatever you're dealing with right now, whatever you're going through, whatever type of adversity, whatever type of vicissitude of life that you're dealing with, look at it as an opportunity to grow. 
Look at it as another situation for you to unwrap this gift. You, the gift. You are a gift to this world. Another layer that you can pull back and discover the greatness that's in every one of us. Again, my name is Tracy Williams. This has been one of my another passion point. See you next time. Peace and God bless.